Hello, how are you today? Hello, 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 and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. In the last part, we played as Connor at the Eden Club, where we discovered um, a, I don't know what you would call it, an, an android who is for sex purposes, um, who killed a patron because he was trying to kill her. So I really enjoyed that part. Um, but this part is going to be with Kara, and it's called Pirate's Cove. So let's get into it. Oh, it's cool it has the weather right on the dashboard thing. Oh, I can look around. Uh, or can I? Yes, I can. Autonomous. Weather. There's Luther. Ooh. Destination. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids not go captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Okay. Um, how far is it? Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Weather. I've never seen snow before. No. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Right. Oh, I can't ask him about the car. I assume it's out Zlatko's car. This doesn't look good. My god. That's so weird. Stay inside, Alice. Inspect car engine. Okay. How don't you do it? I don't know anything about cars. Open. It's hot. <laughs> the engine too hot. That's my diagnosis. What are we going to do? Oh, I can move. I don't know. Me neither. Continue on foot, I guess. Oh, well, that sounds awful. Please, Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Okay. Then we can stay around here, Carol. Obviously not. Uh, find shelter. Don't see anything. Shouldn't I get Alice? Shouldn't leave her in the car. Okay, I guess I'll just leave Alice in the car then, shall I? Come on, Luther. Or you stay with her. I don't know. I'll go check it out in my adorable outfit. There's a sign here. L1. Pirate's Cove. I guess that's where we're going since that's what this chapter is called. Over there. I produced a flashlight out of thin air. Neat. <laughs> Release the Kraken. Okay. We need to find shelter. We sure do. Hang on a second before you start screaming. But right here. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. No kidding. Okay. Okay. Doesn't really give me any information, so let's continue on. About over here. Find anything? No. No place we can spend the night. Too windy for Alice. Well, duh. It just gave me a little prompt, so I checked it. I was gonna say the same thing about this one. Damaged structure. Unsafe! <laughs> What's this? Turn on. Ew! Beware! It's an android. Danger always comes when least expected. Or it's not weird. Looks so real. 
Okay. <laughs> it looks like there's a person down here. I don't know if it is. Hello? Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties! You're gonna have a whale of a time! So creepy. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties! You're gonna have a whale of a time! Oh my goodness. That give me nightmares. Keep showing me that pirate ship. I don't know what it's supposed to mean. It's always fun for the kids. Too small for the three of us. Well, with Luther, <laughs> he's huge. This place is falling apart. No kidding. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. Nope. Especially not when I can't find anything. What about this house? This looks like a good place. Uh, ooh, examine. Looks safe inside. Yeah, it doesn't look like especially warm, but... Luther, rip these off with your giant muscles. Or, oh, okay, or apparently Kara has giant muscles. <laughs> I'll handle this. Bet you will. Nice. Here we go. Yeah, you're a handy guy to have around. I really hope nothing bad happens to you. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. That was a magazine. Sure. USS Iowa missing. American vessel last seen in the Arctic Sea. Canada, where the air is clean and the welcome is always warm. Discover the landscape, discover the wild, discover Canada. Gossip Weekly. Is President Warren too close to cyberlife? All Android band tipped for music prize. Fans scream, traditionalists weep. Alright, that's enough of that. I don't need to read that. Thanks, though. Hi, Alice. You okay? Can I talk to you? I can't talk to you. I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Makes sense. Ooh. Open. What's this? Check gun, offer cookie. Check gun, I guess. Offer cookie. There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Oh. Okay, I need to make a bed for Alice. Okay, I was <laughs> a little bit unaware of what it is I was supposed to do. What's this? Look. Okay, it's RE9 written here, over there. No, no, I'd like to take that, please. Pirate's Cove. <laughs> Put it back on the ground. What's this? Uh, curtains. And a flag. That'll work. Or a pillow. Maybe that's a pillow. Can you look at the RA9 on the wall? Uh, what? Right. Nope, you can't. Alright. It's totally unfazed by that. Set you up right by the fire. Alice? She was just there a second ago. What's the matter? Oh, family. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Um, sincere. I don't know how to be like them, Alice. I've never been a part of a family, but maybe we can be our own family. <laughs> be happy in our own way.
as long as we're together, that's all that matters. So adorable. Come on, let's get you to bed. Tuck Allison. Can I talk to Luther? Or is he? What's he doing? Just sitting there. All right, never mind. Nope. I need you to kneel. Thanks. Mm. <laughs> I'll give her a kiss. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Family. Oh my God. Can you tell me a story, Cara? Sure. I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. <laughs> I should have one for you. Um, night. This is a story about a knight who... No. Oh, Not God. a story like that. Make one up for me. Make one up. This is a story about a little girl. That's unhappy. Who wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... She was different. She was different. And that made her very sad. Then, she met a robot. Who was lost. Who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. For a better life. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... They were together. But they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... <laughs> a giant. <laughs> a gentle giant. <laughs> Who promised to protect them. How does the story end? Happy. They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Time to sleep. I should still liked it anyway. Another long day ahead of us tomorrow. I thought I was doing a good job. <laughs> Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. He's like, I know how to do this. I'm great with children, obviously. Talk to Luther, sure. How'd that feel? <laughs> My god, we should be a family. She could be her dad. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Um, Luther's past. Do you remember anything from your life? Before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. Obviously. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Plans. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. <laughs> I like the sound of it, but I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. No, what are you talking about? Oh, what's wrong with Alice? Ah! 
<clears throat> okay. Bunch of zombie androids. <laughs> Uh oh, what? Protect, protect Alice. Yes. Uh, question. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone. Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. Oh, thank God. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. They're all Jerry. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. Well, she should follow us then. Alice, oh my God. I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, Tara. I don't think you have any choice. <laughs> okay. What is it? Oh, we're gonna ride the carousel? Be our guest! Reactivate carousel. How? Turn on. Oh, cool! I feel bad they just left the androids there. They didn't even like. I mean, not that it would have been better to dump them in a, the in a trash bin. The carousel is about to begin! <laughs> Put her on the seahorse. So cute. <laughs> Best day ever. That's weird. They should all ride. Because <clears throat> she's just riding by herself, but it looks weird. <laughs> oh, what every kid does. Since Waves the as they go by. I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. <laughs> One android in the back there is like jumping around so excited. <laughs> I love that. This is one of my favorite chapters ever. Okay, and that's the end of it, and Alice considers me her family, which is, oh my god, so great. I feel like the Grinch with my heart growing three sizes. Okay, well that's all the time I have for today. If you did enjoy this, please let me know in the comments. Leave me a like or a dislike if you didn't like it. That's what the button is there for, and of course you can subscribe if you want to. I make content every single day, all sorts of different games. You can check out everything that I have played and am playing on my channel page. And I'll see you for the next part of Detroit Become Human. Bye-bye.